what are the differences between inheritance and polymorphism see they both are the basic building block of object oriented paradigm these are the concepts and object oriented programming languages they implemented using different constructs so let us take one by one example or differences first is inheritance is uh, the, that concept in which a derived class inherits the already existing class for example a class a is having data and function class b is inheriting class a that means it is inheriting data and function of class a so you can say that class b has class a inside it okay see here also multi level a is inheriting uh, b b is inherit c is inheriting b b is inheriting a so now c has a and b both polymorphism is that one name and different word one function acting and performing in different scenario in a different way so polymorphism is one that you can define in different forms a person can play a different role so depending upon the parameter in this function role it can be a father it can be a husband it can it can be an employee depending upon what are the parameters you are giving inside this role function so it will play a different role the, the function will remain same it will be a role only polymorphism let me tell you that we have two types of polymorphism runtime polymorphism and compile time this i just told you about the compile time runtime you have to do the virtual function kind of thing and that is only possible when the inheritance uh, scenario is there okay inheritance it refers to using the structure and behavior of a super class in a sub class i just told you when we inherit that is when you inherit your father's property you have all the property so you are actually having his property in in with in your pocket so the polymorphism it refers to changing the behavior of a super class in the sub class that is polymorphism is all about changing your word depending upon the scenario for example we are making a class here okay now class class b and now you have inherited class a so now you have a function say fun and fun both are, both have function fun now when you go when you write a main function and going to call it will always be calling normally the base base function that is the base class function if the function name are same so you have to make this function as virtual not the virtual class i am saying virtual function you have to write then only the the derived class function can be accessed so this is called runtime polymorphism and this runtime polymorphism is is achieved by method overriding that is why we have the implementation of this fun function in your derived class okay inheritance it is required in order to achieve polymorphism as i just told you the example that polymorphism is only possible when there is a inheritance scenario and polymorphism in order to achieve polymorphism inheritance is not required for example okay inheritance is applied to classes see inheritance is applied to classes we are talking about two different classes virtual i but what about uh, polymorphism polymorphism is applied to functions and method so inheritance it can be single hybrid multiple hierarchical multiple and uh, multi level inheritance there can be different type of inheritance what about uh, th this is different kind of a uh, multi level i'm just explaining you we have hierarchical also so polymorphism there are two types of polymorphism just uh, just now i discussed this is the runtime and the compile time so runtime and compile time it is runtime uh, is also called as the late binding compile time is also called as the early binding so compile time you can uh, you know implement it using function overloading or oper operator overloading runtime is method overriding inheritance it support the code usability and reduces the line of code because it is all about that you are inheriting the code so you you don't have to write that code again when class a is inside class b and in the multi level the class uh, a and b is inside class c that means you are actually taking the code so the kilo line of code will be less 
In polymorphism, it allows the object to decide which form of the function to be invoked at runtime, that is overriding, and compile time, which I just told you about overloading, operator overloading, or the or the function overloading. So, depending upon the scenario, the function will be called, and depending upon whether you are using virtual function, the base class or the derived class function will be. 